Okay, Spanish study uh, from the Frederick Nord book, Solo Guitar Player. Um, it's a version of Asturias by Isaac Calvaniz, I believe, but it's an A minor. The original is a E. This one's an A minor. Just for beginners. So we use, with the right hand, we use uh, two techniques for this. We have the Ayudado technique, which is a flamenco technique. Use your thumb and index, but here they've said to use your thumb and middle. Now, ayudado means to help along, so you're, you're just using, I think it's called a pedal tone in uh, you know, modern terms. So the, you know, the thumb plays. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is just practice the open strings, okay? So you can thumb uh, on the six and keep your middle finger on the one. And just run it across the strings. Six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, one. Okay? In flamenco you tend to use the index. Stick to the score here and use the middle. Now, a further extension of that is to plant. So, if the thumb plays, I plant my middle. Then, when my middle plays, I plant my thumb on the five. Then, when my uh, thumb plays on the five, I plant my middle. Four, plant. See, so I'm always preparing. I tend to use rest strokes with the thumb because I'm more of a flamenco player. Um, and in the Spanish study, you always use rest strokes. So, that's an exercise to get you started on the Ayudado technique. Okay, so that's the first half, that's the first section, first 16 bars. Uh, if you have the score, of course, use the score. But if you don't, let's walk you through it. So, the E is constant, the pedal tone is constant on the and, you know. Uh, and the only thing that moves is the notes on the on the fretboard with the left hand, okay? So we start with the thumb on the five, followed by the middle on the one. Now I'm not going to keep saying the middle on the one because it's continuous throughout the uh, through the melody. You see, it's just after each note. So we have open five, two on the four, three on the four, open four, two on the four, on the five and that's our first bar bars two and three are exactly the same open fifth two on the four three on the four open two three on the fifth and one more time now the fourth bar we play open fourth second on the fifth third open fourth second Sixth and seventh bars are the same as the first, second, and third. Now again, the eighth bar begins the same as the fourth. Open fourth. Two on the fifth. Three on the fifth. But then we climb down the scale. We go open fifth. Three on the six. One on the six. So, we start open six, two on the four, three, open, two. Now what we want to do here is use the first finger for the B, the second fret on the fifth. The next bar is exactly the same, so we open six, two on the four, three, open, two, first finger on the two of the fifth. Now we're going to run the scale, where is it? Open six, two on the fifth, open fourth, two, Fourth, two, three, open, two, fifth string, three, two, open, six, four, two on the four, three, open, two, uh, two on the fifth, and repeat that. And now a different scale here. 
here, so we've got open six. Open fourth, two, three, four and third, two on the fourth, three, open, two, three on the fifth, four and fourth, two on the fifth, and brings us into the next section. Okay, so let's have a look at that part. Next section marked with the A <coughs> in the box for the last uh, 16 bars, I think 68 bars, whatever. Okay, so it's the same notes, however, we have changed techniques. We're doing now your dad technique but in triplets this time. So it's okay. So to look at the right hand, this time we want the thumb uh, moves, you know, fifth, fourth, or sixth, depending on which notes we're going to do. But the fingers stay the same. The index is on the third string and the ring, the annular on the first string and our technique <laughs> just break it down let's place the thumb on the fifth the index on the third the ring on the one and to get your fingers into position what we're going to do is we're going to plant after playing okay so we go P I A plant the fingers so that you're on the strings again so just practice this a few times just to put your hand in position To develop that, what we need to think looking at the score, we don't need to look at the A in the A because it's continuous. So we let our eye follow the notes, the, 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 the melody notes, okay? So in order to do this, we, we're looking at it in triplets and we want to think about the plan, okay? So what we do is we play P, I. Now, when A plays, P goes back to its start position. And when P plays, I and, a, I and A go back to their position. Let me show you that in the camera. P goes back, I and A go back to the strings. See, so as I play the A, thumb goes back, and as I play the thumb, the fingers go back to position. I'm exaggerating. Note. Now, for this section, what we want to do is we want to think that the A is glued, doesn't move. We're going to do the exact same notes as the previous section, but we're just using the first and the third finger for the movement. But the second finger stays in position, so give it a good curve underneath, and let it go flat because otherwise you'll get in the way of the string, okay? And then, so that right hand technique is always the same P I A, 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 okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And with the left hand we are glued, and then I will just say the, the, the melodic number. So we have open fifth, two on the four, three on the four, open, two, three on the fifth. So you see the second finger stays in position and these fingers move, okay? Next bar, open fifth, two on the four, three, open, two. Just start that part again. So from the lead bar we have open fifth, two on the fourth, three, open, two, three on the fifth, and repeat. Three, open, two, three on the fifth, one more time, two, three, open, two, three on the fifth, open fourth, two on the fifth, three, open fourth.
you have the score, use the score, follow the video. If you don't have this book and you are beginning classical music, I highly recommend it. It's designed to be used with a teacher. There's my shameless promo. I do online guitar lessons, so click the link in the description if you'd like to have a look at my website. Uh, possibly take me on if you so desire. I teach all sorts of styles, apart from jazz. I'm not a big fan of jazz, so I've never went into it. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. I hope it I hope it's of some help.